YouTube, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at hacking the DJI Fly app um, to unlock the FCC mode uh, for drones operating in the CE regions. The hack basically unlocks the FCC mode that enables the drone to use the full radio transmission power when communicating between the controller and the drone. Why do you need the FCC hack? All drones operating in Europe and other regions which use and conform to the CE standard um, conform to 16 decibel milliwatts for the 2.4 gigahertz and 14 decibel milliwatts for the 5 gigahertz frequency ranges. This results in a theoretical maximum range of 6 kilometers when you're in line of sight of the drone and under optimal conditions. Um, the FCC uh, standard is 26 decibel milliwatts in both the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz ranges, which may not sound like a lot, but it's actually a large increase um, and provides more power to punch through the airwaves and overcome radio interference. There are two primary benefits. The first is safety. The increased power ensures a more stable connection between the controller and the drone. To help counter radio interference from domestic devices like home Wi-Fi, cellular masts, power lines and other man-made infrastructure. It also prevents a degradation of the signal um, during weather phenomenon like rain. Um, obviously the whole point of it is to give you um, complete control of the drone and to reduce the risk of losing contact with it during flight. The second benefit is range. The FCC provides around 40% increased range to the CE standard. This obviously can mean the difference between 6 km or 10 in optimum conditions, according to DJI's uh, official stats. Um, as the Mini 2 and other sub 250 gram drones can now legally be flown in industrial, commercial, residential and recreational areas um, here in the UK and the rest of Europe. Um, this will include obviously towns and cities and other places where you'd expect some sort of um, increased interference, whereas previously they had to be flown 150 meters, um, basically up the top of mountains. So now, with the increased um, expectation of interference, you really want a more stable connection to counteract that. Okay, so how do you get the app? The app is only available for iOS. It's not currently available for Android. Uh, it can be Obtained from the website, um, the website's on the screen right now. It's drawn-tweaks.com. How much does the app cost? It's 24 euros, around 21 pounds uh, per device. And you receive the app updates for one calendar year. After the year is up, you can continue to use the app. However, you'll no longer receive the updates unless you pay again. How does the app work? Very simple, the, you complete the purchase form. After you purchase the application, you'll receive a direct download link via email. This may be up to 24 hours um, after you've submitted the, um, the payment. Um, within the email, you'll get full instructions on how to install it. It really is quite simple. It's a couple of clicks. And it also has a frequently asked questions um, form and some basic instructions. How does the app work? Again, the app is identical to the official DJI um, Fly app. Uh, the current version is um, 0.4, I believe, 1.4, which is, again, aligned with the official app. It works in exactly the same way as the application. Uh, same functionality, same features, same everything. The only difference is that increased signal strength. Does it actually work? Yes, it does. Unlike the DJI Mini 1 and the earlier DJI Spark, which had physically separate hardware versions for the CE and FCC regions, the Mini 2, Air, Air 2 and Air 2S is physically the same hardware, it's the same model effectively, sold to all regions. Um, it's controlled by the GPS position and the application, the software. So by hacking the software you can trick the, uh, the system into believing that it's in an FCC mode. So effectively you're getting the full power instead of the limitations associated with the CE mode. Um, here is the demo proving the signal strength. This isn't my footage, but highlights the difference between the signal. 
The first flight takes place from a remote mountain where there is little signal interference. The DJ Mini 2 is being flown. The demo starts off using the stock DJI Fly app and then switches over to the hacked DJI app. The difference in strength of the signal is quite remarkable. Thanks for watching, I hope you found the video informative and useful. Um, now that this app has been uh, deployed, it does give us some options if you happen to live in a CE region um, where the signal is dropping out or you just want to punch a bit further out. Um, this gives you the confidence and ability to uh, do some extra flying. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please uh, consider comment, like and subscribe. 